coming to you from parts unknown, it's Van Scapley, talking comics, graphic design, and art. Sit back and enjoy tonight's episode. Here, this is VanceCapleyArt.com, and today we're talking about Sleuth Comics featuring the all-new Black Owl. <laughs> Christopher Mills, you've done it again, brother. You've done it again. With artwork by Don Secrease, and I hope I pronounced it right, and inks by Rick Burchett, and these these colors by Matt Webb, which look like late 70s, early 80s comic books, and of course the writing of, Chris, Chris, of Christopher Mills, you just, you're going to be blown away. This is good stuff. It's the it's reminds me of the Marshall Rogers run on Batman because that's kind of when I started reading Batman. It has that look, has that feel. Look at this, and, and a comic book with action in it. Ooh, look! It's just really impressive, and to bring in Michael Answer, that was a very good move. Huh. It's really, really cool. Whereas his space comics, I favor those better because I like science fiction more than detective. But I also love detective stuff. So, to combine superheroes and detectives, which is what Batman is, basically, or was, I don't know about nowadays, but back in the day he was, this does uh, it makes me happy i enjoyed this and um the artwork has the right vibe when i asked christopher mills about this book the only thing i said was well, is there disco in this book and he said <laughs> he thought i was crazy i'm sure I'm just not a disco guy. But there's some disco in here. Not much. Just a little bit. But then we get back to the fighting. So that's okay. Everything's groovy again. Look at that. That is cool. That is just cool. And that, that, that reveal right there. It's just bam. You know. There was a comic character back in the 70s. No, no, no. It wasn't. Or maybe it was. I can't remember nowadays. There was a character called Hypno Hustler. I can't remember if that was a real character or a character I saw on a parody of a comic. I can't remember. Again, very retro vibe. Excellently illustrated. Excellently written. Um, Atomic Pulp is going to be the next big comic company. They just need you to buy their books and i guarantee you within one year and if christopher mills gets help you know from you know getting people to spread the word about these things atomic pulp will be some uh, a company to you know you have to contend with they're going to be big a lot of fun stuff and <laughs> it's great and here we go mystery mailbag love this and these are real people you know who he's sent out early copies to i suppose and they get you know wrote reviews or their opinions on it or letters to him about it great stuff and uh previews for the books and then a, a biography about the black owl and of course as he always does a little uh info about his original first appearances in the golden age of comics and this very marvel kind of um um i guess you would call it um information page uh, marvel would say item you know that kind of thing and then uh, a little parody of the uh, cupcake hostess cupcake ads uh using atomic mouse another public domain property oh my goodness and then look at that look at that house ad still love these things 
this is top notch this is a great team and when they say welcome to the new atomic age of comics you better get ready because this is it this is the big thing this is the new thing and it doesn't feel like it's new to make to this awesome comic <laughs> and the other and everything else from atomic pulp so far has been hands above anything recently from marvel or dc so you need to get this and it's available at indie planet and there's a link for Indie Planet down below for my books. But you can get on there and look for this one. I'm pretty sure you'd probably want to get this one anyway. I think Mike Lancer was created by um, Mickey Spillane. But don't quote me on that. I think that's right. Okay. Well, enough of my ramblings. Uh, you can grab this. It's a uh, great price. You've got... It's a thick comic. It's not thin. And uh, worth it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and God bless. See you next time. Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums, including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, Old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original tea public designs make sure you visit vance kepley art 1972 at tpublic.com you'll be glad you did somewhere in a remote uncharted region of the planet called earth stands the laboratory of captain zero research explorer in time and space in this secret location known only to a few in the outside world Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past to plan for the future. Contact has been established. We now transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. Have you recently lost interest in your favorite comic heroes? Do the current stories make you feel bored, restless, even lethargic? Are you reading back issues out of the 50 cent bin more often than not? Friends, you are not alone. There are thousands just like you, and the cure is Devil Bat. Devil Bat is a 48 page adventure comic by Vance Capley, released by Visual Comics and available through Lulu.com. Side effects include lack of sleep, increased adrenaline, antsiness for the next story, and really, really wanting to buy more Devil Bat merchandise. Ask your comic shop if Devil Bat is available for you, or get your copy at lulu.com. Isn't it time for good comics again? Let Devil Bat start you on that journey today. <laughs> Issue 2, May 31st, from Visual Comics, available at Lulu.com.